Check any them reports. Get in here yet? Yeah, I'm almost ready to go. I'm moving along. Well, check over there. Betty Sue said they came in here. Our time's counting down. Make sure them reports is on my desk. By the time we're ready to go. All right. All right. WGIB TV going live in five, four, three, two. Hello, all you viewers out there, and welcome to WGIB TV in Columbus, Ohio. This is Gib Ruffy, and we got breaking news coming in. Today, we're talking about this publishing and clearinghouse contests and sweet states. They've had all of these millions of Americans seeing sightings and sitting at home waiting on this truck to pull up and Steve Harvey on TV telling them that they're coming. Well, I tell you what, they said they had till, uh, what was it, October 23rd at midnight to sign up was the last day to sign up for the contest, but a lot of y'all signed up before that ever even happened. And I tell you, they had y'all taking stickers and putting stickers on there, and then you had to buy this and then buy that, and then something else come in the mail. And then they wanted this and they wanted that. Even I had my own personal story. That's where I've been. I ain't been on here for a while with my breaking news because I've been over to my sister's house, Bobby Joe's. She had me waiting in on that truck. I looked out that window. I tell you, if I looked once, I looked a, at least a hundred times, and that damn truck never did. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. You, you can beat that word out there. I'm sorry about that. I forgot I was doing my breaking news. But I was waiting on that dang old truck. I tell you, I've been over there for weeks waiting on that truck here to find out. They said some boy, uh, they gave away some money, big money to him, and I think it was the end of July, end of August, but my uh, workers here, they confirmed it all, but I just thought I would prove a point, and so I went ahead, and there's my entry, and you can see on there, if you look real close, it says Gibby Ruffy, and I put my name, Gibby Ruffy, and I put the address 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue Northwest, and I put my sweet presidential. I figured that if I'm gonna be at 1600 Pennsylvania for y'all, for those of y'all who don't know, that's the White House. I figured time somebody actually won this money from the publishing and clearing house contest, I'd be living in the White House in Washington, D.C. But it says the state district of Columbia. The zip code's 20500. I put my date of birth down, December 25th. I didn't put no year. They don't need to know what year I was born. If they know who Give Ruffy is, that's all they need to know. And I put my email. I put GiveRuffy at gmail.com. That's my email. And I tell you what, now, I didn't do this on the 23rd, October 23rd. I did mine October 22nd. But I went back on there, and you can see, I did it. That's my entry form. I went back on there October 23rd, because Bobby Joe wanted to sign up again, because she said she thinks something went wrong, because I waited all that time for that truck to come to her house, and it never did come. Well, I went, got her on the website, and clicked set in her now, and this is what they showed us. You see that? It was road closed detour. They better be glad that wasn't no actual road was on there because back in my day, hell, I didn't... Oh, I'm sorry, dude. Beat that out again. Just beat that out. I would have took my car and I'd have busted right on through them gates right there and I'd have went right on down there, found Steve Harvey. If I got to go to L.A. or if I had to go clear up to Cleveland, Ohio, which ain't that far from me. I think it's about almost two hours away from me. But anyway... I just wanted to figure out. They said you're going to win $1,000 a day for life. Now, I figure I got at least 67 years left to me. And I started adding that up. That's a bunch of money. Now, you all should have known better than believe it. Who's going to give you that much money? Even if you did buy... Oh, hold on. i got to take a break this coffee. And who's going to give you that much money to buy a magazine? Even if you bought 
every magazine they had. Who thousand dollars a day is three hundred and sixty-five days in the year, sometimes more if it's on a leap year. And did you add that up how many years you got to live? That's a lot of days. So anyway, um they had it that you could enter till the twenty-third midnight which was last night we checked the site the site is now down they sent you something back to some kind of search thing so we went ahead with and conducted our poll and we surveyed a thousand people one thousand people we got them all walks of life old young and married not married didn't matter about anything and we asked them have you ever Oh, hold it. They having some kind of sound problem. They want me to put my microphone back over here. Hold on, hold on. I got to get my microphone put back down in here. All right. Test, test, test. Can you hear me now? Okay, okay. They got the sound back up and running. All right, we did have a boom mic over here, and then they said put my microphone back down there. But I, we conducted that survey, and them people... They, we ask all of them, and we said, are you sure? Have you ever heard or met anybody living or dead? Have you ever heard of anybody winning that publishing and clearinghouse contest? And they all said no. I never heard nobody win the contest. So we went back to them same people, and we asked them, said, have you ever heard of anybody win the lottery? Well, yeah. They heard everybody win the lottery. She, I mean, she's broke now, but she did win it. She won it and bought this house and bought all this stuff. They went traveling. Before I know that, I turned around and said, Anne Marie, what happened to your money? And I guess they just blew it all. They wanted to give a, a class or something to have to spend that money. But anyway, so the publishing and clearinghouse people, they sent out uh, flyers to these certain people that they said was going to win and said, this is how you uh, be responsible with your winnings. Then they sent out this paper said, somebody in this area is definitely going to win. The Bobby Jo just knew that was her. That's why she had me. I told her I didn't miss work. I didn't miss everything. You know, I didn't miss a couple dates. <laughs> As a matter of fact, over there, boom, Bobby Jo. I ain't going to have no kind of love life at all with her. But anyway, I tell you what, we're going to help y'all get through this tragedy, and it is breaking news. And uh, what you say? Wait, no, hold up, hold up. Yeah, they said there's some sightings come in. Some sightings come in. You got the report? Okay. Hold on, they go give the report. Okay, the first report doesn't come in. Tommy Lee from Stop, Kentucky. Here's a sighting there. Did y'all confirm that? Nope, nope. They said they didn't confirm it. They didn't confirm it. You got another one? Hold on. Oh, boy, they rolling in here now. They rolling in here now. Who's this now? Mary Grace. Mary Grace is from Husband, Pennsylvania. Is that a real place? Are y'all making this up? Well, she ain't gonna win no sweepstakes. Maybe she'll get her husband. She's living in Husband, Pennsylvania. I wonder if all them people in Husband, Pennsylvania... Got, oh, got a husband. Maybe that's where I need to move. I don't know. Hold on. They got another report. Boy, they handed me to me. Jack Benny, hold on. I know. You're supposed to have been had these reports. Well, okay. They just come in. All right. So now they got uh, Lucille Lemons from Why Not Mississippi. Go, Lucille. Lucille, if you really from Why Not Mississippi, how would you give me a call? Send me a message, Lucille. I'd like to holler at you. You sound But you ain't gonna win no uh, sweepstakes, so I'm gonna have some advice for you, and then you know why not to don't enter that thing next year. Okay, we're gonna move on to the next report. Hold on. Who's this? Bobby Joe. I know that ain't no, no, that ain't my sister, Bobby Joe. <laughs> this Bobby Joe's from Sweet Lips, Tennessee. Go ahead, Sweet Lips. Well, Sweet Lips, honey, I'm sorry to tell you, but you ain't gonna win no sweepstakes, so. You better go find you some sour lips and go lock up. Maybe y'all come out somewhere in between and just have some nice lips. All right. That's Bobby Joe Sweet Lips, Tennessee. Let me see who else. All right. Hold it. Hold it. 
<laughs> Forest flu from end to hell, Michigan. <laughs> I tell you right now, the we in the but how about this? Uh, oh, H, that's right. I oh, that when he's got it back here. If you're from hell, Michigan, you just forest flu into hell, Michigan. Yes, he did. Now, I might be able to confirm that, but I tell y'all what y'all look up. That, it, that's a real place. It, yep, yep, yep. They say that's a real place. Uh, I tell you something, some boy. Uh, uh, no wonder ain't nobody winning this damn car. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Go ahead and beat that out. They ain't winning this damn car. Oh, my Lord, there I go again. I'm just so upset because ain't no sense in these people. They said that publishing and clearinghouse people, they said they got billions of dollars and ain't paying nobody out. Don't hold up. They got one more report here. Who's this? Bud Buck. Bud Buck is from Hardy County, somewhere in West Virginia. My Lord, let me tell you something. If they cited anything besides cows and chickens in West Virginia, that ought to tell you about this contest. Well, Bud, I'm telling you, Bud, just give it up. Go and get back on your horse and going back down through town because that sweepstakes truck ain't a coming. Steve Harvey ain't a coming. Ain't nobody coming. So I've come up with some information to help all you viewers out that's been waiting on this publishing and clearinghouse contest. Okay, number one, y'all stop cleaning your house. Cause I know you done cleaned it spotless inside and out. You probably done, wherever you live at, you probably raked up some leaves. I hope them fires stop. I hope them people didn't try to stay in their house and, and them fires is coming next to them. They might want to try to win that money, but they not coming. They not coming. So, number one, stop cleaning your house. Number two, now I know y'all done caught all your relatives and friends. Even my mother-in-law, sometimes you don't like her. Sometimes, sometimes, even the father-in-law. Sometimes, oh boy, you get to marrying in these families, you don't know what you're going to get. But send them all back home. If they don't want to go, you have to keep this on your DVR. You tell them, get rough. He said, everybody's got to go because the truck ain't coming. Send all your relatives back home. There's number two. Number three, bring the dogs back inside. Because you ain't going to get no mail either. You leave them dogs out there at me. Oh, man, ain't got to leave that mail. I know that. So bring your dogs back inside, your cats too, or whatever critters you had that you put out there. And get them or get them tied up or something uh, because it's over. It's over. They ain't a coming. Um, number four. Try to return the new outfits you bought to be on TV. Now, unless you got something really nice and you can actually afford to keep it, then you go ahead and keep it. But if you can't, you need to find them receipts and take them outfits back. Okay. Number five. Take that car back to the dealership. You know how these dealerships think you're going to win. They'll say, oh, here you go. Go ahead. Take the keys. Have at it. But you call the tow truck to have it take back and because you don't want to put any more bells on it. They might they might try to charge you for that. You ain't gonna have money. Bam! Because I told you I, that publishing house ain't the coming. Number six, call your supervisor and try to get your job back. Y'all know how you are. You don't like that job no way. You've been waiting on something come along so you can quit. Hell, some of you might quit anyway. <laughs> but me, I said the hell with all be find out is they going to be doing more. Oh, we can't be for that. We going live. Well, I'm sorry, y'all. I didn't mean put them words in here. But anyway, you call your supervisor. You try to get your job back. Number seven, apologize to everyone you told to you know. Oh, no. Everybody you told to go to you know where or kiss you where the sun don't shine. <laughs> now, some of them you might actually met whether you just going to win the contest or not. But I tell you what, um, if all of these else things these fail and you can't do nothing else, close all your doors and windows, and I'd say just act like you ain't home for about a month, and then you'll be all right. Okay, so there's your breaking news that the publishing and clearing contest people are not coming. That's your breaking news. And if you stay tuned, we'll be back in just a minute after break for your local weather and your local news. And
and I'm sure that they'll be on there to update you again. This is Gear Brophy from WGIB TV in Columbus, Ohio, signing out. Y'all have a good day and going back to work and get you some money because that seems to be about the only way you're going to get some. Maybe take a dollar down to the corner store and play your lottery ticket. That's it for today. That's all the breaking news I got, and we'll see you next time on WGIB TV. Get Ruffy, signing out.